What's going on everybody, Kalipas Tech here coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you 5 reasons to buy the Cricut Ovation 3. Now before we go any further, as always, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to learn more about this phone, I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. So my first reason to buy the Cricut Ovation 3 is the camera. Now with this phone, Despite being a really affordable phone, going for just over $100, the camera features we're getting here are actually pretty impressive. Up front here, we got a water drop notch design for the front facing camera. This camera is 8 megapixels. Then on the back, we got a triple camera setup with a 13 megapixel main camera, a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 2 megapixel macro camera. So again, as far as the actual features go, this phone surprisingly has pretty much everything, including an ultra wide camera and a macro camera. So if you're taking a lot of photos and you want a wider variety of features, this phone is actually going to be a great choice. And the cool thing about this is that in this price range, some phones don't even have anything else besides maybe a main camera and a depth sensing camera. Maybe some of the better ones might have an ultra wide camera or a macro camera, but in this price range, having both is definitely not something you see every Every day. In addition to this, another thing I do want to point out about the features here is that even though this phone doesn't have a depth sensing camera, portrait mode still works pretty well. So if you do want to get those nice blurred out backgrounds with this phone, again, despite not having a depth sensing camera, you still can get those pictures just fine. Now, when it comes to photo quality, it kind of depends on what you're looking for here. But I would say in general for a phone like this, that again is really barely over $100, the quality is pretty good. Sure, obviously it's not going to be the best camera in the world, but if you're just taking a few photos here and there, maybe to share on social media, for example, for that kind of activity, as long as you're not expecting to get the most amazing photo quality ever, it will at least get the job done. So in general, if you're in the market for a really affordable lower end phone and you want to make sure it has a decent camera, then again, the Cricut Ovation 3 is going to be a pretty good choice. My second reason to buy the Cricut Ovation 3 is because it has NFC. Now in case you don't know what it is, NFC is the main technology behind contactless mobile payment services. So if you like to use tap and pay, you will need a phone with NFC. Now in this sub $200 price range, before 2022, you pretty much never saw a phone with that feature. And even now at the end of 2022, there's still lots of phones around this price and even quite a bit higher that for whatever reason don't have NFC. And in fact, for that matter, this phone along with the Cricut Icon 4 is one of the cheapest phones I've ever seen that actually has NFC. So this is definitely a great trend and I'm hoping that in the future, we start to see more and more lower end phones like this that have the ability to use tap and pay. But in general, if you are looking for more of a basic lower end device, but you do like to use tap and pay, then keep in mind again, the Cricut Ovation 3 does actually have NFC. So with this phone, you will be able to use that feature. My third reason to buy the Cricut Ovation 3 is the display. Now with this phone, we're getting a 6.82 inch IPS LCD display with a 720p resolution, a PPI of 246, and an aspect ratio of 20 and a half by nine. So in general, despite not having the most amazing display in the world, especially when you compare it to a lot of mid-range phones that have stuff like AMOLED displays, higher refresh rates, 1080p resolutions, and stuff like that. For a more entry-level phone, first of all, I do think the image quality we're getting here is actually pretty good. I mean, for only being a 720p display, it still does look decently sharp. The colors look pretty nice. The brightness is decent. And aside from the actual image quality, at 6.82 inches, this is definitely a really large display, which of course is going to be a good thing if you're consuming a lot of content, or even if you're just going to be on your phone a lot, because with a larger display, things of course are going to be a lot easier to see. In addition to this, with a 20 and a half by nine aspect ratio, we're getting a slightly taller and more narrow form factor than usual. So if you're doing something in landscape mode, like watching a video or looking at photos, for example, you're going to get a more immersive kind of experience. And for the more simple things like web browsing, social media, stuff like that, you'll be able to fit more content on the screen without having to scroll as much. So in general, while again, this isn't the most amazing display ever for a really affordable entry level phone, I do actually think it's one of the better ones out there. So if you are looking for a phone in this price range and you're going to be on your phone a lot doing stuff like web browsing, or maybe you're going to be consuming a lot of content, watching videos, playing games, stuff like that, no matter what you're doing, if you do want a phone with a good display in this price range, the Cricut Ovation 3 will be a real good choice. Now my fourth reason to buy the Cricut Ovation 3 is, believe it or not, the performance. Now with this phone, we're getting three gigabytes of RAM with the MediaTek Helio A25 processor. And on one hand, it's not like the phone is going to be super fast or anything. I mean, if you're doing stuff like high performance gaming, or you're just going to be on your phone a lot, then yeah, you're definitely going to want to go with something a little bit higher end because this phone is really not meant for that kind of activity. But for what it is, for an entry level phone that's really meant for basic activities and light use, the performance we're getting with the Cricut Ovation 3 is actually pretty good. Now I did run a Geekbench 5 benchmark test on this phone, and here are the scores I got. What I recommend doing is running this test on your current phone and comparing your results to these, and that's going to give you a better idea of whether 
or not this phone's going to be an upgrade for you. In general, I feel like for most people, while it might not necessarily be an upgrade for everyone, if you're coming from another really low-end phone like this, chances are it's at least going to be comparable, if not a little bit better. But in general, compared to a lot of other phones in this price range, like the Cricut Icon 4, Motorola Moto G Pure, or the Samsung Galaxy A13 4G to name a few, this phone actually is going to get better performance than pretty much all those phones. So again, while it's not crazy fast or anything, for a really affordable device meant for light use and more basic activities, I would say that in general, this phone is definitely going to be fast enough to give you a decent experience. And finally, my fifth reason to buy the Cricut Ovation 3 is the screen lock options. Now keep in mind, this phone does have face unlock and a fingerprint scanner on the back as well. Let's give it a try real quick. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see, real fast and responsive, no issues at all. And again, we do have face unlock here too. So it's definitely nice that this phone does have both options because with a lot of phones in this price range, some of them only have either one or the other. And even worse, some phones like this have neither a fingerprint scanner nor face unlock. And in that case, you'd be stuck using just a pin, which is definitely not very convenient at all. So in general, if security features are important to you, then the Cricut Ovation 3 is gonna be a pretty good choice. But those were my five reasons to buy the Cricut Ovation 3. In general, for what it is, this is a surprisingly good phone. And for that matter, I actually think there are more than five reasons to buy it. But like any phone, it does have plenty of drawbacks too. So if you want to learn more about it, definitely check out some of my other videos about the phone on the channel, which again, I will be linking to in the description, along with some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.